call tonight's Board of Commissioners meeting to order. It's December 7th, 2017, and the time is 7.09. We're a little bit late on starting because of our workshop, so we do apologize. Um, if I can go ahead and have a roll call, please. Present. Mr. Burks. Present. Mr. Lucas. Present. Mr. Crutcher. Present. Mayor Carroll. Present. You have a quorum, Mayor. Thank you. Okay, the second item on the agenda is the prayer and pledge, and Commissioner Lucas will be praying for us tonight. Dear Lord, we just thank you for this night that we have once again to come together. Um, and represent this great city that we all love so much. I ask that you be with us tonight as we make decisions that are in the best interest of this city. Pray for each citizen, and God, as we get ready for this uh, Christmas season, God, that uh, we remember those around us, God, that have and those that, that have not, God, that um, you would just be with them, God, and, and remind them of the reason for this season. Thank you, and be with us tonight. Guide us and direct us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, item three is approval of the agenda. Move to approve. We've got a first and second. Any changes? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item four, public hearing. I guess we don't have that. <laughs> um, item five, citizens comment. Okay, if you'll please join us at the podium. State your name and address. Donna Brooks, 7315 Chester Road. I just wanted to clarify something I said at the last meeting. Uh, it really isn't good for me to talk off the top of my head. I said that I didn't want any more approvals of subdivisions, uh, but I realized we cannot stop growth until we get our plan in place especially when the developments come along that are acceptable in every other way except traffic. For me personally, half-acre half lot should be the, the minimum, but that's just my opinion. But the main reason I wanted to say something is if we could develop a preliminary plan for traffic, I think people might not fight every development that comes along one that has the outlines where new feeder roads could go and which roads will be improved. It is illogical to me to approve a development with certain setbacks when you know we will have to widen that road, which makes the house be closer to the road then. We should be able to identify some of these things before the 18 months it will take to get the master plan. We know we're limited in the timeline where we can actually make road changes but people want to understand that someone is taking these into account when you approve new developments for everyone's safety and quality of life, including our new residents. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, item six, awards and recognition. And I assume we have nothing. Seven public announcements. Okay, nothing there. I would like to take the, I should have said it, awards and recognition, but good job to the Fairview Chamber and the Christmas Parade. I think um, we heard a lot of positive comments, and that's always great, so I'll announce that at that time. Um, staff and comments, do we have any staff? Oh, great. <coughs> Chief, so glad to have you. Hey, how are you? Finally got real, a staff comment. There you go, real quick. Uh, you know, we were working really hard with the shop with the cop. 
Our initial goal was to help 30 children this year with a $7,500 goal. I know I come up here and, and pled the case a little bit. Some commissioners chipped in. I think the word got out. The money went up to 10,000 and we're gonna help 43 children this year. Correct. It's gonna start off that morning with uh, breakfast. Our friends at the fire hall are gonna cook a pancake breakfast there, ship them over and they're gonna get to shop. We just wanna tell y'all thank you and it worked out very well. Great, thank you so much. Okay, approval of the minutes or consent agenda. Move to approve. Second. Got a first and second, any discussion? Okay, roll call vote, Commissioner Rainey. Um, Commissioner Lucas. Aye. Um, Commissioner Burks. Aye. And Vice Mayor Crutcher. Aye. And aye for the mayor. Okay, that will bring us to 11, old business. A, second and final reading of ordinance number 2017-8. An ordinance to amend Title 12, Chapter 4, and Chapter 5 of the City of Fairview's Municipal Code as it pertains to the Residential Code and the Energy Code, respectively. Move to approve. Second. Okay, we got a first and second. Any discussion? Okay, roll call vote. Commissioner Rainey? Aye. Commissioner Lucas? Aye. Commissioner Burks? Aye. Vice Mayor Crutcher? Aye. And the mayor votes aye. Okay, new business 12A. First reading of ordinance 2017-25. An ordinance to amend the city of Fairview zoning ordinance by changing the official zoning map for tax map 42, parcel 78.01 and 79 for a total of 20.95 acres located at 7818 Old Nashville Road from a RS40 low density residential zoning district to a R20 medium density residential zoning district. Move to approve. Okay, we have a first. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, first and second. Any discussion? Okay, we'll go with a roll call vote. Commissioner Rainey? Aye. Commissioner Burks? Aye. Commissioner Lucas? Aye. Vice Mayor Crutcher? Aye. Okay, Mayor Carroll? Aye. And it passes. That gives us to 12B. Resolution 28-17, Facebook Live. Move to approve. Second. Okay, we have a first with Vice Mayor Crutcher and a second with Commissioner Rainey. Any discussion on the matter? Okay, we'll go to a roll call vote. Commissioner Rainey? Aye. Commissioner Lucas? Aye. Commissioner Burks? Aye. Vice Mayor Crutcher? Aye. And Mayor Carroll has an aye. Okay, that brings us to 12D, resolution and speed limit revised. Mayor, did we skip, skip C? C? Oh, did we? I already exited out, sorry, thank you. Okay, let's go back up to 12C, um, resolution 29-17. Resolution of the City of Fairview, Tennessee Board of Commissioners requesting the State of Tennessee Legislature to enact a City of Fairview Private Act Charter change regarding its municipal election schedule and terms of office for the City's Board of Commission members. And Mayor, if I may, there were several proposals that have been presented um, by the City Manager. Uh, one of those was uh, marked Proposal 1 in the email. I would move to, to approve proposal one. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, we have a motion with Vice Mayor Crutcher and second was Commissioner Burks. Any discussion? 
Yes, Commissioner Lucas. Thank you. And so we're clear, we are not voting on, we're voting for you to draft this number one up, or are we voting on this, that this is the thing? Um, Commissioner, the, the, as I understand the motion, the, the motion would be for this draft. If this is approved, then I will, I will submit this draft to the legislature. Uh, we will, um, we already have a representative, Sam Woodson, who's willing to introduce us into the House side. He would have a, a sponsor on the Senate side, but this item would move forward in the, in the form that it's been presented. It doesn't mean that we there was some other viable options. It doesn't mean if we did want a workshop like Commissioner um, Rainey suggested that we couldn't revise, but this would um, probably keep the uh, motion going. Um, some of the other options were gonna take longer to do. Sorry, I, I, Mayor, I, I'm not sure I understand what you're saying. If, if we vote on this, this will be what goes forward. Yeah, but it doesn't so. mean you can't go back and discuss some of the options at a later date if we wanted to. With another private act to the legislature, of course. And you're correct. And Mayor, if I may. Yes, go ahead. And I know there was some discussion because um, we were looking at a couple different options. And I know uh, Commissioner Rainey, you said you were wanting wanting to meet with MTAS and discuss some of these things. Uh, are you comfortable moving forward without doing that on proposal one? If this if this is to balance the the election cycle, then yes, I am. Thank you. Okay, any other discussion or questions? Okay, we'll go to a roll call vote. Commissioner Rainey? Aye. Commissioner Lucas? Aye. Commissioner Burks? Aye. Vice Mayor Crutcher? Aye. And aye for Mayor, Mayor Carroll. I can't say my own name. Okay, that will finally bring us to 12D, resolution on um, speed limit. And so we had some options that were given to us. Do we want to go over those, or you want to present something, uh, Mr. Collins? I apologize, Mayor. There were two uh, that were discussed. As you're aware, the resolution that passed at the, at the last meeting identified the speed limits throughout the city pursuant to the ordinance that was passed that provided that that be done by resolution. Subsequent to that, I've had uh, conversations with two members of the board, Commissioner Rainey and Commissioner Burks. Their, their questions or matters to be brought before the board were two, and I'll, I'll speak to this, but I would please ask for correction. Commissioner Rainey's concern was that in the area uh, nearest to the truck stop between the city limits and um, the flying J. The Flying J, yes, that, that area, that that had previously been 40 miles per hour and the, the resolution increased that speed limit to 45 miles per hour. So her request was that we reduce that speed limit back down to 40 <laughs> miles per hour in, in that area. Um, in doing so, we would need to do that really from the city limits at the, at the Dixon County line to, to the nearest intersection and we would draft that just simply because there's no additional room to do that. So that was the first request. The second request was from Commissioner Burks in a concern about the speed limit on Highway 100 where currently it's listed as um, the speed limit would be 35 miles per hour from a spot 500 feet southwest of Cumberland Drive to Old Nashville. And I believe the request was to go from 35 to 40 in that same stretch but that that would that would be a stretch 500 feet east or north of Cumberland simply because that's the crest of the of the concern of the intersection at Cumberland and 100 so we would just simply go from 45 miles per hour from the city limits to the 35 mile per hour zone at Cumberland and then from Cumberland to Old Nashville would be 40 miles per hour instead of 35 miles per hour would be the request. So those are the two, to reduce the speed limit 
um, at the intersections nearest to the Flying J to 40 and to increase the speed limit from Cumberland to Old Nashville to 40. Can I ask a question? Yes. So we also discussed like from Overy Road to 840 because now we've lowered that again. Do we have, can we, can we show the, the, the streets and the, do we have that? Uh, we, we can't, we do have that. We, we may have to take a quick break and I'll go back. I apologize, That's okay. we're, we're That's running. Okay. That's okay. So from Overby to 840, because the resolution lowered that to? 45. And currently it is? 50. Okay, and we discussed that. that yes. That's going to make traffic going through Fairview slow down a lot. And so if you're coming from the, the east end of 100 and you're trying to get through Fairview and we've lowered it that low from Overby to 840, so we discussed bringing that back up too. Yes, ma'am, that's correct. I apologize. There is that. So the, the second part of that was to increase the city limits from the Hickman County line, which is the city limits, to Overby Road to 50 miles per hour. So there will be three revisions. Hickman County line city limits to Overby Road, 45 to 50. Which is what it is now, correct? P prior to the, prior, prior to, to, yes, ma'am. Prior to the major change, okay. The second change on Highway 100 would be from Cumberland to Old Nashville, 35 to 40, Mr. Burks. And the third would be the city limits at the Dixon County line on 96 from there to the intersection nearest to the truck stop be reduced from um, 45 to 40. I, I'm sorry. So from the Dixon County line to Kingston Road. That's correct. Go ahead, Vice Mayor. Th thank you. I don't want us to take too long of a break, but it might be helpful to actually look at this because I'm I'm interested in seeing after this discussion, and I don't I don't know that I'm necessarily opposed to any of it. What section are we actually changing? Because it sounds like we're changing everything back to what it was prior to the resolution, with the exception of a spot on Highway 96. No, sir, that's not correct. The the Highway 100 currently, if I remember correctly, has five different speed zones, 50, 45, 40, 35, and one section of 30 as they're posted on Highway 100 prior to the resolution. So if, if we were to move forward with this, Highway 100 would be from the Hickman County line to Overby Road would be 50 miles per hour. Which it is now. Prior, prior to, it was Prior 50. to the last resolution. Yes, sir. Okay. So Hickman County line to Overby would be 40, would be 50 miles per hour. Overby Road currently is 35 miles per hour. The, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, 100 between Overby and um, Cumberland is, is new resolution 35 miles per hour, previously 45 miles per hour. And we're changing it, it with this proposal to 40? The proposal, the proposal from Commissioner Burks is to increase that to 40 miles per hour. So Cumberland 100 from Overby Road to Old Nashville would be 40 miles per hour with the exception of the intersection of Cumberland Drive which would still be 35 as recommended by the state. Old Nashville to the city limits on the other end of town, the north end of town, would be 45 miles per hour as it, current, as it was. I, one more question. I know that at least the 35 mile per hour zone that was recommended, uh, I guess by the administration after some, some study involving the speed limits, from Old Nashville Road to uh, and I'm not sure where it ended in the original draft, but it was 35. Was there any, um, was that decision based at all on the prospect of commercial development and, and the commercial development or developers' willingness to uh, build in a speed, uh, or that being a condition, I guess, based on speed limits? Because here's where I'm coming with that, or going with that, because I, I have been told that, Walgreens has had some interest in the past and and one of the conditions that Walgreens has is that they have a corner lot and that they be in a 30 mile 35 mile per hour zone 
So I was just wondering if that was part of the discussion or the decision to have that 35 mile per hour spot right through the middle of town. It may not have been, but. That conversation specific to a retailer or request, no, sure, that was okay. not brought up. The, the one thing that was considered, and there's been some discussion of a traffic plan, the, the stretch from basically city center way, the, the, the road here we are, from that stretch to the um, Bowie Lake Road as you enter the park, just up the road at the fire station, that one stretch of property is probably a pretty good design or review manual for how not to enact a traffic study or plan simply because there's no cross. Everywhere that you turn out, you must turn right to take a left. There's nowhere to cross the intersection. So that, that stretch was based simply on the inability for someone to safely navigate two lanes of traffic it is how we got there. Specific retailer, no, sir. Well, and I don't want anybody to be confused. I don't think Walgreens has contacted the city. I was just using that as an example. Right. Um, because I know that has been discussed in the past. That's why I was I was asking. So the proposed the the proposed the requested changes are Highway 96 from Kingston to the city limits be 40 miles per hour. That's the first change. The second change is the speed limit on Highway 100 from Hickman County line to Overby be 50 miles per hour. That, would, that was the second. The third is the speed limit from Overby to Old Nashville be 40 miles per hour with the exception of the intersection of Cumberland Drive, which will be 35 as recommended by the state. I think we would need to clear up one other part of that resolution though, because I think if, if I recall correctly, the 35 mile per hour zone started at Clearview on 96. I think it went from it went from 40 it went from 45 from the county line, and I'm talking about coming in from Dixon on the uh, 96 side of town. Yes, sir. It went from 45 all the way from the county line to to the the, the subdivision the road right across from the ballpark. Yes, sir. Then it changed from 35. Or change two thirty five. Yes, sir. I don't think that was part of what you just mentioned. No, because I wasn't considering that intersection. I, I'm talking Kingston Road to the Dixon County line on ninety six. I'm not on this end of the. Of, I'm not on the Highway one hundred end of ninety six. I'm on the Dixon County line, the interstate end of ninety six. I understand. So as it exists now, it's forty five miles per hour from the Dixon County line to Clearview. As, as was adopted, Dixon County line to Clearview Drive is 45 miles per hour. The request is that Dixon County line to Kingston be 40 and Kingston to Clearview be 45. So there will be no change from Kingston to Clearview, it still will be 45 as was adopted. You're only changing Cl Kingston to the Dixon County line. I completely understand that, but okay. but my, my question is is w once you get to Clearview, what does the speed limit become? It, it stays the thirty five. There's no, there's no change okay. in that. We're only changing we're only changing Kingston North. There's no effect from Kingston to Highway one hundred. So there would be two under the proposal with the two changes. The only thirty five mile per hour zones would be from Clearview to where? To the off ramp onto Highway one hundred. Okay, and then the intersection of Cumberland, Crowcut, and Highway 100. Yes, sir. Those would be the two areas that are 35. Yes, sir. Okay, I understand now. So, but it won't go from Clearview all the way through town to the school because that would make sense to me. Like the 35, it's 35 to 96 to 100, and then what is it from um, Highway 100 through town for the section of the city um, center? From currently adopted is 35 miles per hour mm -hmm. from Old Nashville through town, Old Nashville, uh, Old Nashville to um, Overby is where it currently is. Okay. So the question, it would go from from 35 from Old Nashville, Old Nashville to Overby would be 40 rather than 35 is the request. 
except for the except for 35 the mile an hour 35. spot at Cumberland. Well, I know that there was a lot of um, talk after the last commission meeting, just some confusion, but something I did like about what the vice mayor suggested it was just making it more uniform where you're not going on one street and we become a speed trap and we're going up and back and forth and that to me is a concern i know the citizens you know are not favorable for you know especially as you're commuting to nashville close to the interstate you want to be able to um you know carry speed but you know i feel like we're still doing the same thing with all the different speeds and you know really don't know that um, what the purpose is anymore <laughs> you know I thought it was just to put an ordinance in place because y'all were cleaning things up and realized that we didn't have a, um, you know anything to sustain you know what the speed limits that we had just because it wasn't um, you know written correct the the genesis of this entire discussion was the school zones mm -hmm. as we got into the school zone we realized we needed to make some changes throughout the city that's when we audited the speed limits and, and what was passed so beyond that it's it's clearly the pleasure of the board or members of the board to present whatever the the, the changes there would be i just know those were the the requested changes that were presented subsequent to the what was passed yes commissioner if i can and i may be the only one I think there'll probably be some citizens that are like me. To me, this whole thing is about clear as mud. So if there's any way we can actually get a map and look, hey, this, this stretch here is gonna be 45. This stretch here is gonna be 50. Um, Cause hearing all the different conversations of this revision versus that revision, I, I'll be honest with you, if I went out here right now, I'm completely lost on what speed I'm supposed to be going if we pass well, if this night. If it's if the pleasure of the council, then why don't we propose that we provide three maps? The current, the first map will be what was previously adopted in its entirety. The second would be the two, the three proposed changes in those locations, and you would be able to see those. And we'll do an overlay so you can see what what those would be. I would appreciate that. Perfect. Okay. Did you still have um, a discussion, Vice Mayor? No, not okay. not in light of that. No. Okay. Anybody else? So we'll just defer it to the we'll next. Have the, we'll have that next meeting. And I apologize, Commissioner Birch did mention the the map for the for the forty five miles per hour, and we do have that, but it does not include the overlay of the others. So we'll 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 make the change and and do that. And make sure it's correct. Thank you. Okay. So that will be bring us to twelve e. Um, preliminary flagpole and sign design for Veterans Park. And Mayor, I ask that this be put on just so we didn't lose it in the shuffle of things. Have we made any progress yet? We have. We've done some preliminary work on, on the sign. Where there's discussion of the location. We we did identify, um, or the ROTC has mentioned that the flagpole they have is serviceable. We'll go out and inspect that and see if we can at least install that there and save some of that cost. Once we're able to do that, we'll we'll be able to have a little better plan for where to install and some budget for a sign or signage. Well, then if we could defer this to say the second meeting in January, I just want to make sure it stays on and oh, sure. that we keep it front and center. Thank you. Good idea. 12F, first reading of Ordinance 2017-01 PC. An ordinance of the Municipal Planning Commission of the City of Fairview, Tennessee to amend the zoning ordinance as it pertains to the RS-15 zoning district. Move to approve. Second. Okay, we have a first and a second. Any discussion? <coughs> Okay, we'll go with a roll call vote. Commissioner Rainey? Uh, Commissioner Lucas? Aye. Okay, Commissioner Burks? Aye. Vice Mayor Crutcher? Aye. Okay, and it's an aye for me, Mayor Carroll? 
Motion pass. 12G resolution 30-17, authorizing the city manager to contract with the state of Tennessee on behalf of the city for the FAST Act funding and improvement to Highway 100 at Cumberland Drive. Move to approve. Second. Okay, we have a first and second. First is Vice Mayor Crutcher. Second is Commissioner Lucas. <coughs> Any discussion? Okay, we'll move to a roll call vote. Commissioner Rainey. Aye. Commissioner Lucas. Aye. Commissioner Burks. Aye. Vice Mayor Crutcher. Aye. And I, for me, Mayor Carroll. 13, um, city managers, item for discussion. Uh, Mayor, I have three items for you tonight, just briefly. King Road uh, resurfacing was completed today. They, they've done that work, they striped this afternoon. So King Road resurfacing, including the milling is complete. So we do have that um, finished, thank goodness. Secondly, the guardrail at um, Fairview Elementary School will be installed Tuesday. They ran into some issue with um, some weather, but they were able to get that cleared up. So that guardrail will be um, installed in its entirety Tuesday. So that, uh, that project will be complete. Uh, lastly, we discussed some uh, erosion control measures that the city could take moving forward as a part of not only our municipal code, but our subdivision regulations. Um, we um, had three of us attend since that meeting training with the state. Uh, Michael Sullivan, the building inspector, attended the training. Kristen Costanzo, the city planner, and I attended that uh, training. There was some testing after that. Um, we, we hope that we all pass that. Um, once, we, once we complete that, then that will give us three employees on staff who are certified and licensed by the state for erosion control inspection <laughs> and enforcement measures. Uh, the second thing that we discussed as a staff among that is um, bringing, and we'll do this through Mr. Potter and there'll be some work to be done, but for the ordinance part of that, what we'll likely propose to you is that the city simply adopt the state's regulations in their entirety for erosion control, drainage measures, all sorts of that thing. The second part of that would be make those enforceable by fine so that in the event we move forward, we have those on the books. If any of us notice a violation, then one of the three licensed inspectors will be able to notice that by, by fine or other measure to that person and bring that back. So we, we think we're able to do, rather than reinvent the wheel on that, just adopt the states. Once we're certified, then we will have the ability to enforce those in, on staff and move that forward to eliminate the necessity to contact the state for all of those. Uh, we hope to get our information back from the state next week on that, so we should be able to have you a complete update at the next city council meeting. That's all I have for you tonight. Okay, thank you. And the city attorney. Thank you tonight, Mayor. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Commissioner Rainey. Nothing tonight, Mayor, thank you. Okay, Commissioner Lucas. Nothing tonight, Mayor, thank you. Okay, and Commissioner Burks. Yes, Mayor. Um, now that it's the Christmas season, I know a lot of people are out shopping and looking for gifts for friends and family, and I highly suggest, if possible, uh, shop local. Check out all the shops we have in Fairview, see if there's anything you can find for anyone, or just go visit a new shop. Um, I took the opportunity to visit Seven Hair, Salon, uh, Seven Hair Parlor, um, had a very nice time, very nice people there. Uh, also, check out our other newer businesses. Uh, we've got Oscars, we've got Bourbon and Rye that's opened recently. I know we've got Hooked and Hunted that I think opens up on the 16th officially. Go check them out. That's all I have. Thank you. Vice Mayor Crutcher. Nothing tonight, Mayor. Thanks. Okay. And I just want to apologize for my up and down. Thanks, everybody, for calling and checking on me. After surgery, I am covering um, a little bit quicker than I originally thought, but it is difficult to sit straight up. So um, for those that are home, I'm sorry I look like a bobblehead moving around up here. But um, I hope um, everybody enjoyed the Christmas parade. I love events like that. Um, 
And for those that came up to the tree lighting, appreciate you taking your time to do so. It's always important to come together as a community, especially during the holiday season. So with that being said, if I can get a motion to adjourn at 7.44. Motion. <laughs> so moved. Are, are you sure? <laughs> Is there nothing else? <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to win? I, I just lost. Who, who does? I had 8.42.